and no one gets hurt. The studs are all dressed for this home finale. Johnny Boychuk shot a save by Hackett. That was certainly the expectation. Roll your A-team out on the ice today. McGinley has a break right side. The shot saved by Hackett well outside his crease. Pye tips the puck to the corner. Berg Soderberg self-pass against Erhoff right in the middle. Past Erickson. Here's Barkowski. His drive sails wide on the glove side of Hackett. Boychuk around to Erickson, back to Soderberg right in front, loose in the crease. And Hackett puts his glove down on it. Past Chara, and Campbell is back to cover against Dennis, but he whips it to Stafford, three on one. Stafford in front, the rebound to Agostini. Hamilton runs over Rask, and the Bruins manage to. Bergeron takes a hit from Hodgson. Marshan crisscrosses in front of Bergeron. Turns to Riley Smith, the boy Chuck has to settle it on his stick. It's off Marshan and in between the thighs of Matt Hackett. Hamilton working against Gergensen's on the boards. Hamilton sends it corner. Soderberg to Bergeron to Smith. It explodes on his forehand. A sweet pass from Bergeron, but Smith couldn't do anything with it. Smith to actually take place. Krejci feeds Lucic, he charges toward goal. Chara shoves Talinder out of the way. The bomb from McGinley. Now it's Krejci, low for Lucic. A one-on-one -on -one time, and the other walking in from that right side. One got blocked, the other one missed the net. And Krejci actually took a shot intended for Chara. Campbell scores! The Bruins get momentum off the power play. Jordan Caron taking the cross-corner dump. Gregory Campbell driving the net, and the Bruins lead 1-0. You think of the opportunities we were just describing and you get nothing in terms of goals. But you're right, Jack, you start to build momentum in that five on four situation and you come out with a line like Campbell. You talk about the Bruins and their balance and their depth up front, if everybody's healthy. And I know you don't have Chris Kelly in the lineup tonight or this afternoon, but Jordan Perron makes a nice play from the left wing boards. Bruins able to gain entry. Doesn't have to be pretty. Get it going into that offensive zone. Buffalo's still a little bit back on their heels because they just got through killing a penalty. McCabe leaves the puck behind Erickson to Soderberg. Barkowski flips it toward goal, and Hackett can't control it. It rattles loose at the post, and then Flynn comes over to make sure it doesn't get into the crease. Into the line, uh, into the zone. Krejci into Lucci, who skates, charges, bomb, leaves it dead on the end boards. Krejci scores. David Krejci scoops in the backhand. The Bruins lead 2-0. Two goals in a minute and 41 seconds. Well, Jack, you talk about Buffalo and, and, and how low they rank in a lot of different categories. And one that's really not quantifiable is how do you react after you get down in a hockey game? The Bruins do a terrific job on the back check by Krejci. No panic in his game. Get it back to the defense so you can go into a regroup in the neutral zone. The Bruins go B to D. Hamilton's made a number of real good decisions here this afternoon. Able to look people off, carry that puck into the offense. Caron brings the puck back to Boychuk, throws it off a leg. Erhoff tries a sneak away pass. It bounces behind Hodgson's backhand. Now it's Bellino digging a puck off the wall. The shot in on Rask, and he handles it on the body. Bubble with Marshan in his face, and it results in a turnover. Krug to Marshan over the line. Krug. Tries to bring it around Scott, and the puck right to Smith. He closes, fires it off McBain, and rattles loose in the crease. Smith comes out the other side. Ellis bunts to the wall, and that trend is continued here early in the second. Lucic blocks the pass oh. from D'Agostini. Krejci to again let a shot, and a save by Matt Hackett. And slings it around off the apron of the goal. Chara pries the puck to Campbell. He makes sure it clears. Marshan is tied to the league lead with five shorthanded goals. He almost had six. He had Hackett totally buying the move, but he slides the backhand wide. And was McBain to the boards to Felino. He's got Ennis cross the slot. Erhoff right in front. Rask an aggressive move to deprive Hodgson of the cross crease pass. The Sabres were so good at drafting and developing. Bergeron scores! Speaking of drafting and developing, 3-0 Boston. All the goals belong to Boston centers. And Patrice Bergeron's 
personal point streak extends to 13 consecutive games in which he has played. No better way to uh, answer when the physical nonsense starts with John Scott than to just put another goal on the board. This line just plays so well together. Nice cycle, nice tight triangle, a net front presence with a man below the goal line and someone looking to get the puck to the net. Shot redirected wide, Barkowski slaps it to the near side. Felino right in front for Hodgson in the backhand, scores! Cody Hodgson as the Bruins get caught running around a little bit in their defensive zone, it's 3-1. Talked about the importance of the little things, the details. Barkowski is forced to wrap this puck around. Louis Erickson, normally on the opposite side, needs to get to that puck first. He knows the pinch down is coming from Weber. But he doesn't win that battle along the wall. And now the Bruins get lost in coverage. And uh, the puck just kind of finds Hodgson on the backhand. Smith keeps his legs moving. Marshan swivels off of Ellis's hit, takes the puck to the dots, turns back to the forehand, leaves it for Bergeron. The shot in on Hackett. And he'll snuggle it for a faceoff. High shoves Felino off the play. Barkowski is right there, and it's three on two. Barkowski takes the middle of the ice. He's got Soderberg on the left. The shot, save, rebound. Soderberg takes a poke after Pai flies through, and Hackett has the rebound. I coordinate it and bang it in the direction of Hackett. Just couldn't quite get the blade of the stick on it. Conacher across to Ellis, the backhand, and Rask makes the glove save. Somewhere between 15 and 20 to be his most effective, and uh, he needed to get a couple of reps here before the playoffs, so good to see him out there. Barkowski tries to pick the corner, and Hackett denies him. Drops to Krejci. Krejci indirect backhand off the boards for Hamilton, but now he's caught on the wrong side. Only man back is Chara. Here's Ellis closing, saved by Rask. Chara took the pass away. Rask had the shooter, and he made the save. Bergeron played into the final seconds of the second period, so decision made in between periods. Well, contact, but for the officials to make that kind of call and, and, and try, you know, be letter of the law and, and try to keep control of this hockey game, I have no problem. Hamilton curls and drags around to Linder the shot and a save by Hackett when his heart stopped beating on the bench. Dallas, incidentally, Clinched a playoff spot in the West last night. Tyler Sagan with his 37th goal. Knapp sees his first NHL experience and makes a shoulder save. Again, the holds with Krejci, the right shot on the far left side. Lucic to crew to Krejci, low circle. He draws McBain and Mitchell, slides it low for Char in front of Ginla, the shot and a save by Knapp. So Buffalo now has had Ryan Miller, Jonas Enroth, Nathan Lewin, Matt Hackett, Michael Neuvert, and Connor Knapp play for the Sabres this year. And this is a great stop by Knapp because the Bruins do exactly what they want to do, which is create two-on-ones, a short little two-on-one. An eventful third period at TD Guard. Krejci to Krug. Krug has time. Krejci's one-timer off the glass. Right back to Chara. He scores. I don't know if that's Krejci's goal clean off of Knapp or of Chara. Figured in it, but the Bruins are up 4-1. This game, this might have come off the glass and right back towards the goaltender. Maybe went off him. We'll get a look at it on the replay. David Krejci has to have the willingness to shoot the puck because he's such a gifted passer. The more he shoots in situations where he's supposed to shoot, the passing lanes will open up. And uh, he tees up this one timer. It's a nice reaction by Char to get to the front of the net. Ristolainen has made himself noticed today. Part of the future, here's Mitchell for a shorthanded goal, and Rask makes the stop. A wicked drive by Gergensen's hits glasses out of the box. It's back to even strength. Krejci, Weber goes in, engages physically. Krug's right there, throws it on goal. Karan can't connect on the bouncer. Again, was wicked wrist. 50 regulation. Losses. And it sneaks on Rask, and Rask dives to make a paddle save. Matt Ellis turns into the Boston zone. The backhand across the crease, and Rask kicks it to the near boards. Boston Bruins are worthy of competing for the Stanley Cup.
And they will go in to the Stanley Cup playoffs as the NHL's top seed, the President's Trophy winners.